LakelandCarKeys.com. I am currently sitting in a 2011 Audi Q5. Um, this car is currently at the Manaheim auction in Lakeland, Florida. It was an all keys lost situation. An out of state dealer called us to come in and uh, make them a new key. We have the key here. I just finished going through the program procedure with the X Horse Key 2 Plus. As you can see, it this key is programmed. I can go ahead and start up the car. It does run. So I just want to go over the procedure because I didn't record it as I was doing it because I've never done one of these before. And I just want to make sure that I understood what I was doing before I tried to record a video. So basically, uh, the whole process is really easy. It should take you less than six, seven minutes to go through. Um, so I'm just going to go back out to home and just show you what I did. I went in. Oh, we got a little glare. Let's see if I can move this here and get it better. Still got some glare, but I went to emo programming, selected Audi, and then automatic diagnose models, and hit start programming, and it will go ahead and start reading the data um this is a bcm2 vehicle so at some point we are going to have to go into the trunk and unplug all the plugs on the bcm uh, for a couple seconds so that it kills all power to it and plug them back in and then it'll continue reading oh well now it's going to tell me let me see So, what I'm going to do is uh, show you real quick. The BCM is loaded, located back here. Uh, this cover is this way. It just pops off. And you got one, two, three, four, five. I didn't unhook this little antenna, but, you know, I just disconnected these uh, five plugs. You know, let it sit for... I let it sit for about 30 seconds and then plugged it back in and all right so the first time sorry about that the first time you've seen it uh told me it couldn't uh recognize the vehicle turn your hazards on you know pump the brakes a couple of times flicker the lights so that um you know you are waking up the bcm so right now it tells me this is identified as Volkswagen Audi fifth emo system select OK and then so I'm not gonna go through this whole thing I am gonna show you what I did do so I went in I read BCM data it will read the data it'll let you um, you know select a file you save the file that's your quote-unquote emo data and then you go in and make a dealer key um, when you go in to make a dealer key, it's going to ask you, uh, you know, do you want to prepare OEM key? And then it asks you some questions. It seems kind of weird, but just go ahead and hit yes. And then the, the next screen will give you an option to prepare normal dealer key. And that's what I selected. And then I was able to select uh, Q5, all keys lost. And then it will tell you to load your uh, data. This is the data file I read earlier. Let's open the data, load file, put the key in the programmer. I'm not going to put this key in because it's already programmed, but I'm just going to go ahead and so it will write, you know, the emo data to the key and then tell you that you're all set. And then once that's done, you're going to back out back to the screen and then hit learn key. All right, and then you're gonna select the number of keys that you're adding. So if you're adding multiple keys, uh, you would change the number. I just did one, hit confirm. It'll actually load that BCM data again. It's the same data set that, that we use to write to the key. So we're just gonna go okay, hit that, load the data again. And then it tells us to put the key into the ignition slot. So this key, well, this car um, did not have like the 
comfort access or the door handle. So usually there's, there's a little button here. This would be like a black rubber piece and that would be a button and that would be comfort access. I believe this is still uh, the regular smart key and I just put it in the slot and went in and hit program and it you know took a few seconds and then the job was complete. All right, and that was all I needed to do to program uh, one of these Audi keys to um, this Q5. Now, there ain't no start button, so I, well, not that I know of, so I assume no matter what, you would have to put the key in the slot and press the start. But this is uh, all set to go. I just want to give you a quick rundown of all keys lost on a 2011 Audi Q5 using the X-Horse Q2 Plus. All right, lakelandcarkeys.com.